Yo, it's a good Sunday. I know y'all miss me. I miss y'all. We back though. See, it's a good all star crew right here. We've been missing this guy right here. Tell him what your name is, Matt. Well, I'm gonna tell you my name is first, actually. I'm TK. I'm your host. This is Unbiased, and I'm a Vikings fan still for now. I'm gonna let you Tim, I'm just gonna keep that. my coach fan. Yes, goodbye to Carson Wentz. Finally, yes. I just hope we get somebody. Just hope we get somebody. <laughs> I just hope we get um, somebody. I'm Kenny. And I'm a Broncos fan. And I'm glad I'm glad we got Russell Wilson. Oh, man. so you're just gonna get into it. Okay, so y'all got yeah. Russell Wilson. Yeah, you I'm know? glad we got well, you know, I'm a you relevant. <laughs> oh, you relevant. Right, <laughs> you the last one, so why not? Russell Wilson mm-hmm. came to Denver. Mm-hmm. What'd y'all give him? Uh, y'all had we, game, we gave him a lot. Yeah, I think y'all I gave him like two first, three first, two first, two seconds. It was like two players. Like I think it was three first. Yeah, it was like it was. Yeah. Oh yeah. Y'all hey. gave up Drew Lock. I don't know why y'all gave him no offense. No offense. Shelby Harris, two first round picks, twenty twenty two, the number nine overall pick, and the twenty 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 three oh, first round pick. So who knows where that's gonna be at? Probably something real late because y'all got Russell. Y'all think you're gonna go deep into the playoffs? <laughs> hey, can I say something real quick? And they gave up two second round picks. 2022, number 40, 2023, and a fifth round pick to get Russell Wilson. Oh, what you got to say? I would say you would think, though. I mean, I, I guarantee I would definitely prioritize. Yeah, I would definitely prioritize a quarterback over a tight end. But no offense, he kind of good, bro. And he was growing. He's not bad, but you would think. I feel like that's something that, that, that was extra to get rid of him. I feel like the Seahawks was like, and we just yeah. want him. You feel me? Like, because they know that's going to hurt. That's but you would think with a quarterback problem. like Russell, he, he, he a quarterback him. to dump, you know, mm-hmm. a tight end to dump it off to. And Noah got speed, too. At the same time, I feel like if they feel like we could find another tight end and replace him, we're not going to find a Russell Wilson out there. That is true. I so I feel that, like that's that, that probably is right you know, there. They could have so had Carson. How, how do you feel? Oh, I don't want Carson. <laughs> they could have had Carson. How do I feel about it? How, I'm excited. You being a Broncos fan. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I mean, ain't that I've been complaining about – Oh, yeah, I always been the Seahawks. I'm like, yeah, that's my niggas. But say, Russell, I've always been a fan of Russell Woods. So it's good. it feels good. It's like when Rondo came to the Bulls. It's like it's like that same feeling. I, I mean, he didn't do shit. I hope it's a better fit. No, no, I, I, I mean, actually, no, for real, for now, we did, we, we did do good. We got, we, everybody got injured because we got to the playoffs and we did our thing. We everybody got injured. Okay. But this, <laughs> this is, oh, it's the same feeling right now. I, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Like, we finally got a QB because last good one we had, and we, we, we got there with him. He was paid. Was, yeah, we got there with the him. Sheriff. And I feel like we got, we got a good team. We don't have no, we don't have no. Oh, McCole. We don't have no big so names like big on the team, but the thing is, like, our team is a solid team still. Y'all's last big name, y'all got rid of was Vaughn. And I see Vaughn. Is but I'm about to come back. But Vaughn might come, come back. back. He's trying to, but at the same Vaughn time, might come back. I don't know. We'll if, we, if we didn't know he's coming back, he said, you think they're going to give me my uh, old locker? Yeah, he said, he know he's coming he back. Said, he back. Said, <laughs> 50 if, well, so if we get him back, that'll be real nice. And then Bobby's still in the market. So I'm not saying we're going to get That's an old slow defense at this point. Hey, look. That's an old slow defense. I'll take Bobby. And then I, I wouldn't even say it's an old slow defense, but like we we, we need somebody to talk to our defense. We need somebody to talk to them. I need a veteran presence. We we really do. If, if, if we have two, two of them, Vaughn, you know what? Two of them, but but they both can still do something for any team they go to. I'm not taking Vaughn. Yeah, Vaughn yeah. Miller's strip sacks. Yeah, yeah. All right, well you know we got Vaughn Miller. We gonna get the Bobby Wagner right quick, you know, because of the Seahawks. They release hey, Bobby. They hear, they hear they hearing talks for uh Metcalf too. They clean the house. I'm about to say, I mean, uh Bobby they clean uh the house. Bobby different. He is different. Bob, Bob Bobby different. So in in um what? What it wasn't shit. In 10 years, Bobby Wagner made eight all pro teams, eight Pro Bowls, collected 1,383 tackles. Deflected 60 passes, picked off 11 passes, and hit the quarterback 78 never times. Never year. And negotiated his own three-year, $54 million deal. He was his own agent, representing himself. And the Seahawks didn't even tell him goodbye. He had to hear from him through the grapevine that he got released from there. That's that's some shit. That's some that's that's disrespectful. They didn't respect him. You know? After all I did for y'all. After so all 1,383 titles I had for y'all. So I started this tackling shit. I started Just the motherfucker. <laughs> <thing. laughs> Disrespectful. Hey, hey, well, you know, okay. We'll hey, this. you know what? We well, appreciate you over in Denver. I when that. they when they play each other, he gonna let it. Oh, he gonna yeah. let them know, huh? I'm about to say he, he can hit. hit. It's gonna be it's gonna be one of those. Whatever their QB right. is by the time they uh get someone to replace uh uh what's his name? It's uh, hard finding the QB. If, no, if I know because right now they got Geno. 
Mike Hart. Gino might not be starting over Easton. Right now they got Gino Smith. Like, Y'all was saying they got terrible. Jacob Easton too. He might not. Gino might not be Gino starting over Easton. Terrible. Well, I want Seattle to know. Me being a Vikings fan, you can always call us. <laughs> I got somebody. Oh, Gino. <laughs> No, you gotta call us. You know, hey, I mean, even the coach. You know, I see I the show. I take like, them hey, over I'm Wentz. Cool. Y'all, well, you take Gino over Wentz? No. Oh, I'm about Kurt. I want to get somebody to take Gino. Uh, I'd rather start Sam than uh, either one of them at this point. About to say, so I see the show got rid of y'all's quarterback. You know, y'all got what? Um, a two. We got uh two third round, three third rounds. I had that. I think we got three third rounds. One of them can turn into a second. And we, no, and we exchanged second round picks, and we exchanged second round picks. I know y'all gave up, like y'all lost that deal to me. Okay, no, so we look, the package that the coach receives the twenty twenty two third round pick. They yep. receive a twenty twenty three third round pick mm-hmm. that escalates to a second rounder, like y'all did when y'all traded mm-hmm. him. Like from Philly, but they take like up Wentz's the contract, so we don't have to pay Wentz at all. They are paying it. Y'all get they're paying the dead cap for Wentz too. And then the Commanders get Carson Wentz, and they get their your twenty twenty second second round. Yeah, we just change that. Picks. Yeah. So, so we move up, we move up, and we already have an extra second from a. Uh, we got an extra second from someone. I don't know. I'm Philly. Last yeah, I think year, it I'm might be from Philly. Y'all try to him away. Um, no, nah, we didn't lose it because they take up that dead cap. So now we can play. Like I said, after we pay Nelson, we got all our star players on contract, and still with a lot of cap to go. We just got to find a quarterback at this point. I don't think we lost that. Tr- I don't think we lost it. All. It was an experiment. Let's go. So, so off camera, we was talking, and you was speculating that y'all going to tank for somebody. Who y'all think y'all going to tank for in the future? Bro, we're going to get a placeholder, and we're going to tank for Arch Manning. That's who we tanking for, bro. So you All those fans will still be in contract, too. That's the crazy part. It's Arch so Manning close. Arch is a senior in high school this year. I'm going to say a senior because I think he's a senior in high school this year. Watch that man's He hasn't play. even committed to a school yet. Oh, you ain't seen none of his college workouts. <laughs> you ain't seen none of his college workouts. You ain't seen him up there throwing that Clemson. Following, but he doesn't go to Clemson. You're right, he don't. <laughs> but you, you, you see his college don't workout. You have to do at least three years. You have to. I'm okay with that. So y'all gonna take for three, three, years? three years? No, we're not gonna take for three years. No, I'm saying, but he said gonna take. We're gonna, we're gonna build. We're gonna build for the next four years. We're gonna build for the next. We're gonna build for the next four years. Watch, watch. We're gonna build for the next four years. We're gonna trade. We're gonna trade. Look, bro, I'm telling you. Well, speaking of building. And talking about careers, uh, we're gonna get to your favorite again. You know, DK Metcalf. You believe he can beat Tyreek Hill in the race? No. Tyreek, no, no, I don't believe he can. Well, DK believes he can. I mean, look, I think I think at that size, it's incredible he can do what he can do. He but, can run the way he but wants. Didn't he get smoked when he tried to turn for the Olympics? Yeah, he. I ain't gonna say he got smoked. They said he was last. No, nah, he got smoked, bro. Yeah, he was last. He place. got smoked. He won last place. He was like. I thought he, he was last. Nah, he wasn't last, but he wasn't like he wasn't first. He wasn't close to first. <laughs> I, you know, you know, you got you really got real runners, and you got the people who can run, but they're not real runners. Not real runners. Yeah, it was like that. <laughs> Let me see. He didn't get smoked, bro. Let's give the time right here. But speaking of getting smoked, though, did you know in two thousand three, Sean McVay won High School Player of the Year over Calvin Johnson in Georgia? Mm-mm. Fun fact of the day right there. Yeah, in 2003, Sean McVay, coach of the Los Angeles Rams, former, well, I might say former, but current Super Bowl champion because it happened this year, uh, head coach of the Los Angeles Rams, beat out a first ballot Hall of Famer in Calvin Johnson. Because Calvin Johnson wasn't first ballot Hall of Famer. He had a good career, retired a little bit early. But yeah, cause Sean they McVay in high school was a better quarterback than Calvin Johnson was. He was, a, he was a captive. <laughs> they wouldn't look. Calvin he Johnson leave. Time. He finished ninth. Yeah, I was about to say he wasn't last, but out of what ten people? Or was it nine? What I read it here, he can still run a, a hundred yards in uh ten seconds. But he can't run hundred meters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? Since we on running, I mean that's good. We had the combine last weekend. There was a combine out, and there was a, a lot of good times out there. I still don't understand the unofficial from the official times because they had certain players that ran you know four twos, and they said they officially ran four threes, but some. Time that actually currently stuck was did you know that Jarvis Landry ran a four seven seven at two hundred and five pounds in the NFL combine? That's trash. That's trash. You wanna know why it's trash? Because Jordan Davis at six six, three hundred and forty one pounds, ran a four seven eight. Mm. So you have a nose taco that's a half a second or what a second slow out. Like, that's a millisecond. That's what I'm saying. Slower than a receiver 
in the NFL? He said that's true. <laughs> or, 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 you know, we're going to get to one more person. The white Randy Moss. Mm. Pick up. He ran a 4-6-2. And there's a kicker from Iowa named Marshall Cohen that ran a 4-6-1. <laughs> Wait, what's his name? Marshall Cohen ran a four six one. If you make it, I'm picking you up. Just know that. I'm just, I'm just saying, you know. So I feel I'm like they put a lot of power. stock into the forty yard dash when you just need to watch the film. Because ball, if you're a ball player and you can make plays, you can go out there and do what? Make what? Make plays. All right, so we're talking about making plays. I'm gonna go ahead and get to uh, you know our segments here and unbiased. We do start set cut. We do a who am I? We do a uh, 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 trivia, but today we're gonna do a star sit cut. Star sit cut, and this is in trios, so this is a team. So I want you to listen good to the teams. You have Terrell Owens, Tom Brady, and LaDainian Thomason. You have Jerry Rice, Patrick Mahomes, and Adrian Peterson, mm. or you have Aaron Rodgers, Randy Moss, and Derrick Henry. Start, sit, cut. Say I'm taking time for you. I already got my answer. Tom Brady, Terrell Owens, LaDainian Thompson, Patrick Mahomes, Jerry Rice, Adrian Peterson, Aaron Rodgers, Randy Moss, or Derrick Henry. Okay. Start, sit, cut. Treat. I might. I'm going to give you this my... ball, too. Go ahead. Wait, hold on. I'm going to start. Right so... At first, I was a little like, ah, but the Patrick Mahomes one. But the fact that he can like really hurl that bitch down the field, and Jay Wright, Jay Rice can catch that. They can run down there and get it. And then you still got Adrian Peterson, right? Yes. Ah, I want ugh, Adrian Peterson is like really the deciding factor here. Cause that's I'm starting them. You starting Adrian? I'm starting Patrick Adrian and Jay Rice. And then you have Tom Brady, Terrell Owens, Lavanian Thompson, or Aaron Rodgers, Randy Moss, and Derrick Henry. This is great lineups. These are great lineups. <laughs> great it's, lineups. Uh, really, I really want to go with Brady. I really want to go with Brady. With the same time, I'm like ah, I don't know. It's Derrick Henry. I uh, Derrick Henry LT. Derrick Henry LT. I'm gonna uh, go. You look upset over there. Oh nah, I'm good. Uh, right. I'm gonna go. Tom Brady. Terrell Owens. Terrell Owens. They didn't talk like that. Yeah. And you're going to cut Aaron Rodgers. I know. That sounds Rodgers, crazy. That sounds very crazy. It sounds crazy. But I just, it's literally the side factor with that. Because those the QB and receiver is damn near neck and neck. But I think LT is better than Derrick Henry. That's, that, that, that's, that's, the, that's the difference. Right I think. I'm going Tom Brady, T.O. and LT. Okay. <laughs> LT is better than Derrick Henry. Forget this little two senior wonder he's been on. By the way, he didn't finish this season, by the way. So we'll just get out. He can ain't healthy enough to finish the season. So all, the, all the hate they gave my boy Jonathan Taylor, I'm back and I'm giving him hate back. Jonathan Taylor was not on this list. <laughs> <laughs> he was, he was not. Tom Brady is the undeniable GOAT. Yeah, and then you're giving him, you're giving him Brady, arguably the best receiver to play the game. Arguably the best receiver to play the game. In Terrell Owens. In Terrell Owens. I just want to let people know. Go ahead. You're giving him arguably the best receiver to play the game. You're giving Terrell Owens Tom Brady. Okay. They are going to light that entire field up all day. And then, A, if they not, here you go, LT. Don't act like you wasn't a kid. And, you know, you get that nice little run. You know, LT, boom. I was a kid. And I, you know, I, I was a kid. I, you know, I was a kid once. I, I was I was never really, you know, LC fan personally. He was a no, drunk kid. No, I was always AP. I was always AP. You feel me? Mm. Go ahead. Who you gonna sit and who you gonna cut? Patrick Mahomes, Jerry Rice, Adrian Peterson, or Aaron Rodgers, Randy Moss, and Derek Henry. They all getting cut. I'm taking Tom Brady. It's, it's oh. a start sit cut. <laughs> okay. gotta sit one. I gotta sit one. <laughs> ah. You, you just got your starter. I got yeah. it. Yeah. All I care about is my starter. Who's your backup to me, though? Um, just in case Tom go down. T.O. go down. You know what I mean? T.O., they say he did play with a Give me Randy. Ball. Give me uh Randy and Aaron Rodgers. That's my sit. So then so then you're going to cut Patrick Mahomes, Jerry Rice, and Adrian Peterson. Yes. Okay. You see that. Me, I'm starting Aaron Rodgers, Randy Moss, and Derrick Henry. We all started something different. I'm starting. 
Aaron Rodgers with his arm talent, the way he can throw the ball. Randy Moss just a pure deep threat. He can run a great post route. You know what I mean? But I, mean, I don't need, I don't see him doing no screens or comeback. What did they do that for? He didn't need to. Down the he didn't I don't need to. I don't need to do that. He said I'm Aaron fast Rodgers, and I'm and I'm tall. And I'm, you feel me? All I gotta do is put the hand up. I'm gonna go get. It. I have a whole phrase after me. You got Moss. You feel me? So yes, I'm gonna start them. Oh man, I messed up my shit. But I say I'm going to sit. Mm. I'm going to sit. The Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes, Adrian Peterson, Jerry Rice. I'm gonna definitely sit down, and I'm gonna cut Tom Brady, Terrell Owens. Yeah, ours is Tom totally Tom. different. All three of ours. That's what different. I'm going to cut. But you know, since we're talking one. about the undeniable goat, did y'all know another fun fact of the day? The Tom Brady played in more Super Bowls than he did Pro Bowls. He played in two Pro Bowls. He was he was selected 15 times. And he played in 10 <laughs> Super Bowls. <laughs> and you know what? Since he couldn't afford to play in a Pro Bowl, you know what else he could afford? Yeah, here, Nicky, the back. About to say, you know how much Tom Brady's final touchdown ball went for? We, we talked about his 600th touchdown ball. Dang, that's crazy. I think it was 500. It was 600. It was 600. So I thought negotiations start off at 600K. So do you know how much his last touchdown ball went for? Five hundred and eighteen thousand dollars in the auction. That's crazy. And that last touchdown ball, you know, just like you know, six hundred touchdown ball, Mike Evans threw into the stadium, into the crowd. Yeah, he threw his last one into the crowd as well. That last one went for five hundred eighteen k. You got as soon as he scored, you got to snatch it from him immediately. <laughs> you be like, yeah. <laughs> Since we're talking about five hundred eighteen k, Calvin Ridley. Fuck him, bro. <laughs> Calvin hey, Ridley. And, that, and that's from the bottom of my heart. Fuck him, bro. Because literally, like, <laughs> no, because in fantasy, no, fantasy football, this is the one year I was like, I'm going to win it. My team was, my team was damn near to perfection. Everybody that's get it, injured. Man. That's it. Calvin Ridley, you my only hope. And what does he do? Goes and gambles. He just says, fuck me. He just says, I don't play playing no more. You remember Nigel Gruff from the replacements? They were going to take my pub away from me. <laughs> he said, I he said, I'll bet it all and pissed it down the piss. Yeah, that's him. Fuck him. It's Calvin Ridley. I don't want to make fun of the man. He was just making no, side bets on the games. You know, I lost money because of him. Fuck him. That's he, how. I but feel. he won money because of you. Fuck him. <laughs> he probably, <laughs> well, fuck Calvin Ridley saying fuck Roger Goodell right now because Roger Goodell decides, hey, I'm gonna suspend you for a whole season. Well, we got guys out there that you know beats their girlfriends. Shout out. To, well, no, you know, shout out. We're not gonna do a shout out. I'm sorry. I think I'm on the wrong show. <laughs> he suspended this man for a whole season for, you know. <laughs> See, keep, keep at it. Like, no. <laughs> keep doing what you do. No, don't well, do that. well, well, <laughs> currently what he was doing, the person I was going to shout out, what he was doing was beating up men. But I currently heard oh, news, Greg Hardy, Greg Hardy, he got cut today from, yeah, from USC. beating up men. So, you know, he but, wasn't beating him up no more. He was losing to him. He was losing to him. You know, he which was, kind of makes. Wouldn't use them. Wife is a practice dummy no more. Well, a lot of people so on, on this list used. You know, we're, we just gonna we just gonna get out of that segment, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said. It's fuck him too, and fuck Calvin Ridley. Well, yeah, Calvin Ridley. Though, if you haven't heard, been suspended for a whole season for replacing side bets and gambling on games and. Yeah. I just don't understand why. He's like Paul Crew in it. He, he, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Paul Crew was playing in the game still. Yeah, he just said, I can play at all. Right. Now, bet on me. <laughs> now, bet. He said, bet we lose. Like, <laughs> like yeah, of course. Mm-mm. I don't got no transition, but okay. Uh, Jerry Jones. Mm-hmm. You hear news about him this week? Mm-hmm. He just said, ain't shit people. That wasn't mm-hmm. a good transition. Ain't, ain't shit. I, well, you know, Jerry Jones has been named in a paternity suit. I did hear about this. Yeah, I heard about it too. We yes. talked about that at work actually. So Jerry Jones, um, he said Alexandra Davis, law sort intended to determine that she is not legally bound from the previous agreement that Jones and her mother has set because Jerry Jones said, I don't want to have no contact with you. I'll just keep paying my payments, you know, we're mm-hmm. gonna keep this discreet, you know. But I ain't got nothing to do with him. No Alexandria problem. wants the people to know because she was trying to get on to the FBI. She was trying to get a job. She was trying to better herself. So her trying to be a good human and Jerry Jones trying to be, you know, 
what they describe us as, you know, ain't shit. Dead you know, beat. um, dead beat, dead beat, you know, stuff like that. You know, he got put out in the in the news. How y'all feel about that? How y'all feel like Jerry Jones should go about this? You think he should uh, step up to the plate and absolutely be a father to his daughter, five year old daughter? That the, the agreement, hey, the agreement. Okay, your dad has an agreement. Are you expected to honor your dad's agreement? Your dad and your mom have an agreement. Are you expected to honor your dad's agreement? I understand because I was a child. At the time exactly. They agreed to that. Exactly. That don't got nothing to do with me. As a exactly. Child. But now I'm older. But think, okay. So but at for the same time, I'm paying Jerry Jones, you don't have to pay child support. So what was he paying? I'm, I'm trying to I'm confused. He doesn't have to pay child now. support now. But what is he paying for now? Is what I'm saying. Now it's just that's that didn't come up. She soon. was trying to get a job at the FBI. So okay, I understand that. She's but I'm saying, suing him for pretty much. I guess not being there. Not being there, and it's. She, but but I'm if he like was paying, I'm confused though, be because with you. if he was paying the child support, he did. I mean, technically, no, he, did, he didn't pay. Was, he gave no. He didn't pay child support. He paid an undisclosed amount of money to the mom to keep for hush money. Well, I can understand that. But okay, guess, but, okay, but even if that's that, child support, I guess. Yeah, I must, so even if he's paid, it, 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 like so, I, I don't like, understand. I, I don't what know what he is. Is the money still undisclosed or does it feel how much he paid the mom? I feel like he's getting sued. From the daughter because she wants the world to know that yeah. that's her father. So yeah, she just wants shit. she wants the fame. Yeah. Well, I'm not gonna say fame, but she wants no. She wants spotlight. That's what she, she wants. Spotlight. But at the end of the day, that's the, the spotlight she deserves. That's his. Like. That's his. That's his child. I don't. That's the spotlight she deserves. Whether he did, no matter how she came into this world, she ain't has to be in the world. That was Jerry Jones. I made that decision. Get, I don't get work. I, I don't get what she's trying to do. That's that, that's that thing with me right now. Like I like I get, I, I get that he ain't shit. Whatever he's, right. he's paying. But I don't understand what she's. But trying I, to do. I, yeah, I don't understand yeah, what she's trying I, to do. Like what, what I mean. What is the end game to this? Is what I'm just what I'm trying. Maybe to the FBI job. She was looking for a job, and that's how it came out. You know, you but, can get okay. hired for notoriety. Hey, I got Jerry I'm Jones' so daughter working for I me. I feel like that's a good reference. I got Jerry Jones' daughter working for me. Why can't I use my dad as a reference? Yes, you, you know, you know, he's there. Where do we? I, I'm maybe I'm just I don't understand. What, what did they? What did the FBI gain from this? It's not about the FBI gains. It's what she's going to gain. From but she's saying she's okay. So she's doing this to get a job with the FBI. Let's say that's the, that's the reason. Why? That's what we're going to say. That, that, I'm saying why? What, no, she needs a career. No, 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 no. I'm saying what does knowing of, this? This is my dad right here. Well, I mean, what does that have to do with anything? The FBI, they going to go into everything. Like they look into your whole life, whatever. So, like you know how you get a background check. With your I understand that, but she made it public. And I'm but trying I'm to figure, sure. and I'm just confused on. I don't know. I don't understand it because. Aren't you supposed to be like it's supposed to be like secretive? Like you're supposed to be like with FBI you're supposed to be out there, like oh your face is out here. We try to do a mission. I like, mean, yes, hey, no. Hey. So, like, you know, you, you try to stop a crime. Shut, shut, shut up, Jerry Jones' daughter. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's weird. Like, <laughs> that's weird. I mean, like, yes, it, like, it's yes, yes, it's yes and no. It's yes. 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 I, I There's a yes get, and no to that. Because everything about the it. FBI is not secret. FBI has an FBI academy and it's public. I you I know, get, you see I what I'm saying? That. I mean, please so, tell me public. That's what I'm saying, though. So it's a yes and it's a no. No, I'm, I'm sure saying, I'm a saying, lot of confidential stuff. Mission. You on the Federal Bureau of Investigation? You're investigating. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jerry Jones' daughter's right there. Now, son, we just see you all in. The yeah, it's like uh, it's, it's weird. I, I just don't understand what the end. No, they can use her to investigate some of these celebrities. How? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I was just like, because they can say that it's like, it's like, like hey, it's so, hey, hey, chill out, bro. Jerry Jones right there, bro. It's, it's we. Are you? I don't do know. It's like, shit, Jerry Jones. Is yeah. Like, hey, hey, but maybe they're trying to get Jerry Jones. Was, <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying. Like, I just don't. Man, when you're like, a billionaire in this world, you can do whatever you want. No, no, no. I get that, but I'm saying. No, I'm I just don't. Well, I just don't get the Jerry Jones comment. No, I'm saying. I just don't get her end game. Is what I'm saying. So it's like, okay, if you're doing this, like, if you're doing this to expose him, good, good. I understand. Like. Expose him being a deadbeat, but if you're saying I'm doing it so I get an FBI job, it's like what? Like it's, it's in my my eyes, I'm like this don't make sense to me. Well, you know resume. what makes sense to me? It's a little good with resume. <laughs> how did she get here? That stuck out to me. You said how does she get here? Jerry Jones and all that stuff. And you know how I can't. Yeah, he can take care of her. No, I mean, but I came to a conclusion on how she got here. It's probably organic love. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I already <laughs> talking. It's it's probably organic yeah. love. You know what I mean, as wait, no. your body and the body of your love deserve nothing but the best. And that's that's what Jerry probably said. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Organic loving is only adult subscription box that includes eco-friendly body products from body parts from body safe adult toys, sex positive books, erotic seminars. Organic loving's online store has everything you and your partner or your partners. If you get nasty, you like know, Jerry Jones, you know that y'all would need. 
If you put in this code T13, spell out three. T13, T H R E E. Chico, Chico can spell it. Yeah, he's, he's on the good one. You feel it? Yeah, yeah you yeah, right, tell him. Talk he that says, would you say 10%? 10%? <laughs> <laughs> if you use the promo code T13, organic love. He said, love yourself organically, purely, deeply. And what? Yo, you ain't gonna bark for me now. Boldly. Yeah. Boldly. Yeah. Boldly. That's what that was. Oh, yeah. And boldly. Hey, look. A little participation. So since we put that out there, you know, organic loving, love yourself, love your partner or your partners, Deshaun Watson. <laughs> Deshaun Watson has been found, you know, they, well, I'm not going to say found. They have declined to not indict him. Right. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> they declined to not indict him do it. on sexual assault lawsuits by 22 different women. You just want to You know, so I've been saying stuff about Deshaun Watson all season. Right now, you know, he's not in the clear just yet. But now he's a step closer to being in the clear. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like it was right with the Houston Texans, not the NFL. But what they did. But the Houston Texans no. did to Deshaun Watson. No. no. They, they did him dirty. They did him dirty. They like, tried to okay, it's like, okay, so I can't leave. But you don't want me to play either. But that's that's want, fucked but up. I'm not in trouble by the NFL. So wait, is he still getting paid? He was getting paid. Yeah, he still gets paid. Okay. So, I mean, so, I, I mean look. He's getting paid to sell the cast. That's cool, but at the same time, it's like, you're fucking up my legacy. You're fucking up my career. Like, yeah, that's what Y'all holding me back, pretty much. Exactly. I said, I want to leave from here. No. Right. Y'all said, no. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> y'all play all no. these women out here. And then it's like, so one of the women is related to the owner, by the way. One of the women are? That was probably the first one that he got. Mm -hmm. Because then the neighbor of the owner is the one that represented the woman that yep. all came out. Mm -hmm. So it just seems like it's just a full circle of, hey, you By the way, uh, you. when you got the police department on Deshaun Watson side and not the owner, mm, I'm, I'm going to throw that in there too. They said, oh, we made criminal things. No, they didn't. The police department came out and added them. They were, that lady was found discredible like three times within a month of it. Yeah, he innocent, bro. Oh, and then she took another massage with him, by the way. So if he didn't did some weird stuff to you, the first massage, you gonna go take another one with him? Mm. And you know what stuff she used during that massage? Organic loving. <laughs> he's, 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 he's innocent. He's innocent. I think he's innocent. The facts are showing, hey, he's not getting criminally trialed. Now he just got 22 civil ones to beat. Um, usually when you win the, uh, usually when you win that little pre-hearing, you know, you're probably gonna win the civil suit too, you know. So what do you think should come of this though? Like, do you think Nothing. that, I, I don't know. Sure. My thing is, because I'm still, I'm looking at the Texans as a horrible organization. So I feel like as if, if I'm Roger Goodell or somewhere in the front office of the NFL in a high power position, I feel like the Texans should not be able to be rewarded from this incident still. I feel like they shouldn't be able to trade Deshaun Watson and get all these assets back for him because y'all trying to ruin his career. I feel like y'all should have to just cut him and deal with the punishment from it, right? Mm -hmm. That's how I feel about it. So, I just feel like the Texans shouldn't be able to capitalize off of them punishing him without him being formally punished by the NFL. I think that's wrong. I feel like, I just don't think they should get nothing for it, for real. Because, I mean, now he, he said, I want to be gone, and they had their chance to get there. We want three first-round picks. We want this. We want life-changing assets to help us out because we got a good quarterback here. Now, all of a sudden, you just going to blackball him. You're going to sit him out. He doesn't even formally fun punished by the NFL, y'all think y'all could be able to still get what y'all desire for him. That's not right to me. There's not right at all. Yeah, like, not. Nah, we shouldn't. Because it's one of those things where it's like, you want to punish somebody but by... they... No, no, it's, it's like a thing like, it's like you want to punish somebody for something, but it's like, I don't want anybody else to benefit off it either. So, you know, I was saying that they shouldn't punish him for that, though, but you know who did get punished recently? I'm already Cooper. I feel like um him having been sent to Cleveland. Yeah. <laughs> what did they say? They sent him there to die. No, I see the I see the uh I saw a meme and it was a, it was a picture of Antonio Brown acting up in the end zone and it was like Amari Cooper two weeks in. Amari <laughs> Cooper, he got sent there for a fifth and a sixth round pick. Yeah, I see. First that. of all, that's disrespectful to him because that's all I'm worth. A few years ago, he was getting traded for second round picks and getting big time contracts. So now all of a sudden, I'm getting traded from Dallas. I feel like that's just bad, you know, bad parenthood on Jerry Jones's behalf. I'm not get to that. Um, but but you know why Amari Cooper probably got punished for that though? 
punished. You know why he probably got punished mm-hmm. for that? Because I heard that. Well, I'm not gonna say I heard because you know who I hear from. But <laughs> it's speculated that Amari Cooper and Dak Prescott got into a verbal confrontation after the playoff loss to the 49ers. Sucks. And Cooper referred to Prescott as the Black Kirk Cousins. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> do you think he's the Black Kirk Cousins? <laughs> do I? Th- do I think that? Well, that I mean, because you would know firsthand. Do I see? Look, I feel like Dak Prescott is ten times more talented than Kirk Cousins. Mm. They ain't winning nothing with Dak. Just say it. We're not winning nothing with Kirk. <laughs> so you're right, but I'm saying they ain't so winning nothing with Dak. I'm just saying. <laughs> but, I'm pretty sure that's what Amari said, but now Amari got sent to Cleveland, so you gonna win with Baker? Okay, wait, wait, wait. No, he not. Now we talking about it right now. Mm-hmm. Do you think the Vikings will will be closer to the Super Bowl with Dak or Kirk Cousins? I think we'll be closer with Dak. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. My, okay. per- but I but you don't think I will win the Super Bowl with that? But to be honest with you, to be honest with you, I mean they gonna win, but it's to the Vikings. But yeah. I just want to see like, how, how close get, y'all get. But I'll give you another scenario. That's yeah. even a wild take right here. I think we will be closer to the Super Bowl with Baker Mayfield than we. I'm just gonna say that right now. That's I a bold statement. That that is a bold statement. That is will, a bold but statement. But Baker Mayfield on camera. I'm gonna look at y'all. That's a bold statement. You think Baker better than Kirk? It's not that I think that Baker is better than Kirk. You're saying, I, I know he's trying to say that. I know you're trying to say. I feel like Baker, Baker, he'll take a gamble. He will take the gamble. He gonna do. He gonna try to win you the game. Kirk's not gonna try to win you a game. If you're not winning that game, the game's over. Kirk's not gonna try to win you that game. I don't watch enough Vikings. But Dak will try to win you that game. Baker Mayfield, they're gonna try to I win you that game. Uh, Jeffrey Jefferson's da- uh, dad is gonna be uh, making a video. I- <laughs> yeah, because I think because now, now like cause before we we argued about this on the show, and I was talking about his stats, and I was like, no, nah, Kirk Cousins got good stats. But now I understand what you're talking about now because I'm like, okay, Kirk Cousins will he's open, but I see somebody he can be like ah, right behind him. I'm not gonna throw it over there. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, yeah, I'm not gonna throw it over there. That's, that's a risk. risk. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's, it's too risky. Like, it's too risky. He gets scared. I'm gonna mess up my stats. People are like, but I do see this guy right here. But I'm gonna dump it to right here. Hey, look, hey, you right here, but I'm gonna dump it to you. Yeah, so 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 I get what you're I get what you're saying now because like and that's when, what my coach need right now. So I take the Kirk Cousins, and, and I hope we. I'm not gonna say give him because we need something back. Nah, <laughs> we get nothing back. No, oh no, no, we need a lot back. Nah, no. you get nothing. You can get a third round pick. Mm. <laughs> but I you know what third round picks on this list right here. I've seen a list. I came across a list that said the NFL's most talented players ever. Mm. So it's a top ten list right here, right? I want you to stop me when y'all disagree. Okay. Y'all oh, so, so, okay, so they're, they're top 10. 10. Top, it's the NFL's top 10, or, okay, so I'm sorry. It is the SOG football, shout out to y'all, top 10. Okay, so quick question. Play the list. So it's actually top 10 talented. Are we saying athleticism, or are we just saying, like, stats? What are we saying here? Athleticism and talent. Okay, okay, go ahead. Stop me if you disagree. Number one, Deion Sanders. Number two, Randy Moss. Number three. Lawrence Taylor. Number four, <laughs> Cal- I don't disagree yet. Calvin Johnson. Number five. I disagree. You did disagree. How you gonna pick Calvin Johnson over T.O.? Honestly, I don't think Randy Moss goes wait, over. Wait, 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 wait. So this is in order? I honestly, yeah, I honestly thing. don't think oh, Randy Moss okay. goes over Terrell Owens. Oh well, I'm not like I mean. I, I oh, all right, you said he doesn't go over Terrell Owens. Yeah. We're gonna see if we see Terrell Owens on this list. Okay. Number five. Ed Reed. Okay. Number six, Barry Sanders. Okay. You name my That's a good list. That's a good list. Number seven, Charles Woodson. Charles Woodson. Number eight, I disagree. Bo Jackson. I disagree. Okay, I never seen him. Bo Jackson. I never seen him. This is why I asked. Uh, uh, stats, athleticism, because I knew that nigga was gonna be on that list. That's why I said I was. You, uh, you stop before I give a say. And I feel you like it'll names. be athleticism. I've Bo never Jackson. seen Bo Jackson play, so I can't say nothing. But you never seen Bo Jackson play because he didn't have a long career in the NFL. He was always hurt. Correct. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Number nine, because you know I mean it's top ten, so we're at number nine. Troy Polamalu talked about him off camera today a lot. You already said that read right. Yes. Okay. Okay. Number five. Number nine, Troy Palomalo. And number 10, Mike Vick. 
I, honestly, okay, look, it's I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say this. It is a, it's a great list. It's a great list. Take out Bo Jackson. Take out, who would you replace him with? Who I replace him with? Who would you replace him with? You, got, you of, got Adrian Peterson, Ray Lewis. You got I'll I put a few put, people in there. I wouldn't put Ray Lewis on this list. And for, I want to Lewis in. Most okay, talented. Adrian Peterson, Ray I'm still putting Ray Lewis in. I don't know Adrian if I put Adrian Ray on Lewis. this. To be honest with you, uh, most talented, I would I would not have Bo Jackson on here. I wouldn't but put Bo Jackson. Who would I replace him with? To be list. honest, to be honest, it might be recency bias. It might be recency bias. Was it Odell? No. It would be Lamar Jackson. Oh yeah, for sure. I will put Lamar yeah. over. Listen, there's a few. So what is going by there. talent and Just skill talent. set? Oh, yeah. you got a forty-something year old man still running a four-five forty. He's talking about smoking. Got hands. Y'all smoking crack out here, but that's what man. I'm saying. It's like it's like it, dep- it depends on what you talk about. Because like because like I said, I put Odell there because that man he was good at quarterback, running back, receiver, and he did a linebacker, and he can kick. And then you got and you got, and then I will give you look another one. Ocho Cinco. That's another one. Ah, uh, he's another. Yes, I would. Yes. But but look, if you put Ocho on this, that list, is real life Booby Miles. He would get that shit for you if you needed to. If you put Ocho on this list, you have to put because Ocho is not a better receiver. Now most talented. T.O. was in there for me. T.O. Like, was bro. arguably the best no, receiver in the game, bro. I'm not even joking. I'm not, I'm not like, going that look, you have to go. It has to. It has to be Jerry Rice, T.O. Randy Moss. But did you know in any order? Jerry Rice, T.O. Randy Moss. Okay. In any order. But okay. did you notice who wasn't on this list? It was Jerry Rice. I've always said I thought Jerry Rice was. I'm not going to say overrated because, I mean, his stats. He had Joe Montana. But he he played for 20 years. He, he played. He played for, and, that's, and that's why I can't say that. That's <laughs> it's why like, I can't like, say right, that. respect me. But he's like Vince like Carter out here. But like you just said, do I think he's more talented than Randy Moss or T.O.? No, I did not think so. No. Jerry Rice was more talented than those players. No, I mean so, Tom. Tom Brady is my goat, but I don't think I don't think he's. Like, I think he is the Tom Brady was wasn't was more was talented than Peyton. He can get it there. Tom Brady he always had a defense. Peyton Manning did not. We're going to just end that there. But oh, all right. So, you, so the so moment Peyton wait, Manning got a defense, right, what did he do? The moment Peyton Manning got a defense, what did he do? I get what you're saying right there. So do you think? So you think Tom Brady won a lot of Super Bowls because of his defenses, and Peyton Manning lost in the playoffs a lot because of his defenses? Absolutely. But wait, but wait, wait. But you was bragging about having a uh, defensive player of the year. Uh, what's his name? Bob, uh, Bob Sanders. Sanders. Bob yeah. Sanders. They had a uh, white friend. They had a. Uh, and the one year he had Bob Sanders healthy, we won a Super Bowl. I'm under discussion. Bob. Let's get out of that way. So, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait, wait. Was Bob Sanders healthy that season? Yeah. The whole season. He played in Super Bowl healthy, too. No, but. That was 2006, right? 2006. Yes. How good the defense was. It was a great defense. Do you want me to name it? Do you want me to name the whole defense you just, for you? You just said. You and what did he do? And what did Peyton Manning put on that Wait, season? What did Peyton Manning put on his ring that season? You just said they have a defense. What did Peyton Manning put on that ring that season? That's fine, but you said they have a defense. Yes, and our defense crumbled apart. They were hurt. They were. Uh, to get they, it. they started getting hurt. They had health issues. They were getting older. So y'all have a defense. They were just hurt. Bob Sanders was old, though. He wasn't old. He was hurt. He, he, was, was, he, was, he was just hurt. hurt. I was he was hurt. He was old. Hurt. Hey, but what did Peyton? Hey, when they was healthy, what did Peyton Manning do? Put on the ring. Put on the ring. And, the moment he gets to another defense. When he went to another good defense. What did he do? But, and, and that's fine. And, and that defense and, won them that game. And that's, and that, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's but, but, and, that's, and that's fine, though. But I'm saying Brady is one of those people where I said he's the, he's the GOAT to me. But that nigga is not athletic in the least bit, in my opinion. Facts. And, that, and that's hey, what I'm saying. So, so, but, so that don't matter. To you, me. Think, you think if the roles were reversed, you think Peyton Manning wouldn't have just as much a successful career? What are you saying? You saying you saying Peyton Manning was if on the Peyton Senate, Manning on the was Patriots? on if Peyton Manning had the Patriots that Tom Brady had, and Tom Brady had the coach. I well, know, well, I, Brady, well, Brady proved it when he went to the Buccaneers and they played him then. Ooh, they also had a great my, defense. My thing is for that team was old. I don't for think bro, this team was old. The Buccaneers old. still have a great defense, and if, yeah, the offensive of weapons. Old. Oh my gosh! If but the, the offensive the offensive weapons were what? Oh, <laughs> if, if the roles were reversed, he had two unathletic white dudes. Do I think Peyton it. Manning would be Tom Brady or have the wins that Tom Brady had? Yeah. No, I don't. Because I, I feel like so Peyton either. Manning, because look, how I look at it. And I like Peyton. The difference is, I like Peyton too, but the difference is with that is Peyton was a number one overall pick. So Peyton was that dude. He had that. So he was supposed to have those type of expectations. Tom Brady was not supposed to be Tom He got Brady. it up the mud. But say, literally, it was, it was literally. I can respect so, that. It was, it was but, a circumstantial thing for Bledsoe to go down because. It, it, it really was. In his rookie year. I, I Honestly, I just don't feel like Peyton Manning because Peyton Manning will always be the person. 
number one pick. He's supposed to be that guy. So I feel like he's going to always over try to do it and always try to be that guy. Tom Brady wasn't supposed to be that guy. So he just what played his role round? and then he became that was guy. Was it sixth round? Sixth round. round. Yeah. It's like what? what? Like 191 or something like that? Like, I'm, but, not, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure the exact number. But it's like, you're not going to sit here and tell me that Tom Brady is – I'm just talking about as pure just being a quarterback. Tom Brady is a better quarterback than Peyton Manning. I'm, I'm saying he's a better quarterback because, look, yeah, I tell you, he made them white dudes on that team look amazing. Who could throw better? My, look, okay, look. Who can throw look, look, look. Who's fast? I'm a, that, no, Who's more athletic? No, wait, 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 I don't know. Peyton Manning, you know Peyton Manning. He's more athletic than him. You know Peyton Manning? Look it up. Listen. It's like a four seven four seven. Look at the four eight. Look it up. Look it up. No, no, it don't. It, it, it was like a four seven four eight. And what's his name? It was like a five four or five right, five. But and, and that's what I'm saying. Though I, I said this from the beginning. I said Tom Brady is not athletic to me. He's not. But hey, the thing is, but that nigga couldn't throw though. This nigga Tom Brady could throw. He can he can read the defense. Who can throw better? Who can read the defense better? My thing. Hold on. Peyton Manning started. From your argument, from your argument, I feel like look, from from okay. Now look, look. I would go Brady overall, overall career wise. When I'm taking Tom Brady's overall career, but I'm taking it's not better. No. But I'm just saying from when they're coming out, who's better? Who looks better? Who's this? Yeah. Obviously, it's Peyton Manning from that. Oh, yeah, that's facts. he went number one. That's facts. So from that hey. standpoint, he – Look his career. Does his career back up that he should have been a number one overall pick? It does. Exactly. Okay. So, okay. so look, hey, hey, that's how I'm going to I'm going to this. I'm going to battle this. I'm going to battle this. We're building a team from stats. Everything's a race. We're building a team from stats. We're at, we're, we all, all three of us go to a combine. We, we we line up Peyton Manning and Tom Brady. I already said he's not athletic. Who are you picking? I already said he's you not got athletic. the number one overall pick. This is a combine because if, if, you if you're see, going it, you're going straight off. Athlete. You're going straight off. Of no, I'm going after who's a better argument was who's a better quarterback. And I'm going. Right, I'm going Brady. I'm saying, but in that, now, from the whole speculation, like you're gonna go Brady now from the from the viewpoint that we have of Brady. Then at that time you're going to go pay man. But and that's, that's what I just said. It, so who is truly the thing, better quarterback? Like but think about that football. But talk about that, no, no, no. But the thing about All football. Right, the thing about fo- football. Personnel matters. Yeah, Strategy right, matters. Look, There's so much that goes there. Mistakes right, matters. Right, matters. Right, mistakes right, matters. Right. Okay, so look, real talk. You go to a combine, right? Mm-hmm. You got Jamarcus Russell and you got Andrew Luck. I'm picking Andrew Luck. Why though? Why Andrew Luck's uh, four four six? Um, he could he throw. Did not run no fucking four four six. I so said four know. six. I said oh, four six. I, I, heard, I heard you say four four uh, six. If I threw oh. an extra four, if <laughs> I threw an extra four in there, I'm fine. Four four six. You know, I stuttered. You, know, like, you, you didn't know me. I was, <laughs> almost twenty years. You didn't know me almost twenty years. I know. I'm, I stutter. I stutter too. <laughs> Shut, you know what? Shout out to the stuttering people in America worldwide right <laughs> this now. This is the most stutter podcast together here. You got three niggas that got their own version of stutter. I said four four six. I lied. You just. It was a four six. It was a four six. But I'm just saying, from a speculation standpoint, Jamarcus Russell, we didn't see Andrew Luck get that. Jamarcus Russell could throw the ball 80 yards off his knee to the end zone. He could do this. He could run a 4 7, 4 6 40. He has this cannon. He has that. Then you look at their overall spe- speculation. Now look at their, their brains careers. and who can read the defense better. Then also. you look at their career. Who had a better career? Andrew Luck, barely. Why barely? Because Jamarcus Russell didn't do nothing to stay in the league. Andrew Luck got kicked. I mean, he didn't get kicked out the league. But he got forced out the league, and that's why. And that's and why he still threw for like twenty thousand something yards. Right, but I'm just saying though. But from he was hurt go to a like four times. He was like four times and stats and measurables. That's how you get fooled all the time. So I mean, Peyton Manning had a great career. Tom Brady had a great career. If Pey- that uh, uh, okay, okay, we can go back to Luck real quick. So you believe if Luck had a, you got to remember he was getting hit the most for that's why I said he got almost eight years. Week. For almost eight years, he was getting hit the most. You think if you think if Andrew Luck got protection, you think he wouldn't uh, rival some Peyton Manning's numbers when he was already on track to do that? You got to think the man was it's throwing for 4,000. Right you got to think the, the, the man every season was throwing for about 4,000 yards, sometimes close to five. I feel like, like, like so you said, what do you have? But also, he didn't have anybody except T.Y. Hill, and that's a great thing to have. So what do you have? Like, are you saying what do you have? Peyton Manning's numbers? I said rival Peyton Manning's numbers. You don't think he would rival Peyton Manning's numbers? From you talking about from books or from okay, so let's say he never got hurt. Books. Huh? You talking about from y'all's records? Yeah. Yes, he 
that, so what I'm saying is, I'm like, that's what I'm saying. Football, there's more that goes into football than just a great player. You okay. can have the best and, players, and I, and I know that. And that's, what I'm, saying, and that's what I'm saying. And the fact that Brady, but Tom Brady is not had that. Tom Brady had a great coach. The, year he, the one year he didn't have, that. he did not. I must say because the one when he had Randy Moss, they didn't do nothing. No, they did do something. They went undefeated, and then they lost. They lost. And they, they lost. But they lost. I'm talking about when they, he didn't get that. He didn't get this with him. He, he, he didn't get this. You he, can't he, get this with a Randy Moss. That pay many of ever Randy Moss. But he had a Marvin Harrison. Is a Marvin Harrison a Randy Moss? Tom Brady had Hogan. I'm out. <laughs> he got this one. Hogan. He's a Marvin. Hey, I, I will argue. I will argue. <laughs> Hogan and Alan Dole. Hey. Come on. Hey. <laughs> That's why I said I'm going to argue to the death of me. He had them, he had them unathletic white dudes. He had a Hogan. And, and, and look, it was him. It was, he had Hogan, Evan Dolan. And I was wrong. Nobody in the NFL is unathletic. <sighs> Brady is unathletic. <laughs> Brady is not unathletic. He yes, has some he athleticism. Is. The fact that he Damn. can throw a ball that way. Shows proves some athleticism. You can throw a ball. He has no. He has no movement. The fact that no Brady movement. can break a tackle to... sometimes, <laughs> he has some hey, athleticism. This was a great. Ass. No, that's all I'm saying. You've seen Brady break tackles. He has some athleticism. I, look, to be honest, you can do I've it. Never you, seen Brady break. A tackle. I will pull up a Brady tie line. Brady, Brady, I'm Brady, Brady again. Brady, break a Brady but give, is, look, he was athletic. It was target off me. No, it was. It was a step up. Oh yeah, got you. No, that's not. But, but, not, but, that's, that's but not I'm not though. But did Brady get him or did he get himself? I feel like my <laughs> man's got himself. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it looks good on Brady highlights. You can be in the good on Brady There are unathletic athletes. Is what I'm gonna say. Oh, there is. Paul, there, there is, and that's what I'm saying. But how? How many of them? You already know what I'm gonna say. It is the one that goes. But how many of them make it to the NBA and NFL? Not, not very many. But like, and then, and then, and then do good. Okay, but that's what I'm saying. He's not athletic. And, but he's still the goat. And I, I'm saying that from the very beginning. I had not changed my case from the very beginning. He is he is my goat, but that nigga is not an athlete to me. <laughs> hey, I definitely <laughs> understand. I understand both sides. I understand. <laughs> I, 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 I'm just I like back to my point. I'm just back sides. to my point. If we never seen nothing from them, he would pick Peyton Manny over Brady. If he had the because, first pick. Because all you're saying is when he came in, they're like, oh, uh, First round, right there. You know what? I'm gonna take that back. I'm gonna take that back. To prove us wrong. We're gonna do five years into their career. You're still gonna take Peyton Manning over. No, we were still talking about being a backup, and he was still doing his thing. They're like, they're like, man, he really, he really he started. Tom Brady's career. No, he had saying, what? Three rings? Two rings? I don't know. I think he had two. Oh, okay. How did Peyton have until his first five years? No, he ain't have nobody. He ain't get his first. He went to a complete rebuild. True. About to say Tom Tom Brady though. But what was he doing? Right, okay, but okay, so that's expectations then. That's what I'm saying. Peyton Manning had expectations coming into the And he league. came in and he did it. He okay, but what about the guy that's sixth round and came in and got two or three rings? No, I'm not I'm not Wait, taking that. Like <laughs> Could I just not say 30 minutes uh before that Tom Brady's a, the undeniable GOAT? But just yeah. because he's an undeniable GOAT, don't mean there wasn't people like that was technically better than him. He just did his job in you're football. Saying, you're saying, and that's what I'm saying. He I'm did his brother. job better. Right. And he, wait, no, I'm going to tell you something. But he's, he's not the you. best quarterback. We talked about this a long time ago. We talked a long time ago. I said this I would rather I said I would rather take hard work over talent any fucking day. And, and I said this. You don't get that's paid literally work hard. My, and I said no, he look, don't. I said he don't. I understand your argument because he's coming at so look, my thing I is I always right and I always say though too hard. They always say hard work beats talent, right? Mm -hmm. But you gotta work harder to be better than me already. Oh, yeah. I don't. I don't gotta work as hard to be better than you. You don't. You gotta work ten lazy? times harder to be better, better than me, right? But but if I'm lazy, you can better me, right? But just imagine now, if I work out and I work ten times hard too. So you working ten times hard, right? I'm talking. And I was already better than you before that. So now, if I just start working out, I'm gonna be better than you. Still, no, I, I agree with that. I agree right. with that. But so I'm saying, saying so. I'm saying, but you got to. Why I said Howard Beast Town, I'm saying that person that just they all they do is rely on the time. They're lazy. Hey, look, look, did you get Andrew Luck, Jamarcus Russell right there because Jamarcus Russell, he was talented, he wasn't hard work. Andrew Luck, I don't think I don't want to say Andrew Luck wasn't hard work. I'm not saying no, I'm like saying that. Andrew he just Luck got it. He hard got it. work. I'm saying Jamarcus Russell was just talent. Yeah, Jamarcus, and we see that. And we, so we seen a lot. We seen a lot of buzz. You saying like I don't feel like Andrew Luck could be considered a buzz. I'm not saying it's oh, but oh, Jamarcus Russell's a bust, right? But oh, I, oh. because we're going off of numbers and just combine and measurables yeah. okay. and all this type of stuff. So I mean, I get okay. okay I get where you you I, I get where your head is. Jamarcus Russell's like, yeah, hey, he could do this, he could do that, he could do this, he could do that. That's just natural talent. Why he could do that? Andrew Luck, he works hard to be able to do that. Or this person, Tom Brady, works hard to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. So that makes them good. 
But we've seen a lot of people. Shit, uh, what was his name? Ryan Lee. No, but okay. Ryan Lee was just talent. But that was the thing that year when Peyton Manning came out, wasn't it? Who's going to go number one? Ryan Lee from Peyton Manning. Ryan Lee from Peyton Manning. Peyton Manning did. Peyton Manning had his career. Ryan Lee had his career. Hey, Who's, man, the number two bust? Who's the number two bust in the league? Like the, the, the two names you hear for who's the biggest bust? Jamarcus Russell, Ryan Leaf. So it's like Johnny Manziel. Go to fucking Canada throwing four interceptions in the first was first Johnny quarter. Manziel. Johnny Manziel. Uh, was talented. He was talented. I feel, no, like, no, talk, I feel like when they thought about Johnny Manziel, they thought about ticket sales and they thought about the crowd because you know this guy's going to bring in revenue. He's going to bring. But in what was I don't. Talk, I think still, Johnny Manziel was his worst enemy. He was. You can't, you can't talk. I think Johnny Manziel. Good. I think Johnny Manziel was his own worst enemy, and I believe he it was. came too fast for him. And he already had money. that? But I think all that came too fast. Yeah. Not hard work because he was too busy partying. All right. That's it right there. How you get drunk in fucking New York and All wake right. up in L.A.? So time out. Time out, though. <laughs> you want to go into that, though, right? Yeah, go ahead. Tim Tebow. Who was he? That's talent and hard work. What the fuck happened to him? I don't think he was neither. <laughs> We're gonna be, Tim, Tim Tebow I'll worked be, hard. I'll, be, I'll, I'll, I'll give you talent. I ain't going to say they say hard work. I honestly Tim Tebow worked hard. I honestly think someone built him for a position he should have been playing. He, he, that, but he made it to the NFL. Right. I, I think, think someone right. built him for a position he should have been playing. Tim Tebow would have been Taysom Hill before Taysom Hill. If he would have bought yeah, it to that position. And I agree. I agree. I, I, agree. I think he was built in a position he should have been playing. When they try to do the Tim Tebow, hey, we want to make you do this. We want you to do this for us. We want you to do this. You're not going to be a traditional quarterback, but you're going to do these three things for us. Yeah. Tim Tebow ain't want to do that. Yeah. So, wait. You know what? I must have just... Rebuttal. Where did he go when they try to make him a tight end? Where did he Jaguars. 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 Oh, well, the Jaguars. They, but but the Jets. When he went to the but Jets, everybody already knew that. He, everybody already knew. Everybody already knew he was a good tight end through college. From college. How, how do you know he's a good tight end from college? They talked about it. They say oh, he they just throwing the ball and stuff like that. They knew he had great hands and stuff like that. I don't. Uh, Watch the Aaron Hernandez thing. They talk about Tim Tebow. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying it wasn't. It was already known. Urban Meyer. I'm think? gonna tell y'all right. Why do you think Urban Meyer tried to make him a tight end? Why do you think? Why do you think Urban Meyer tried to make him a tight end? Why do you? Why? Why did Urban? Meyer, because Urban Meyer is a shitty coach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say because you. Got, I don't think Urban Meyer because you got drunk coach. and you got uh, and you got. I, I don't think. I don't but think you need to be picking people. You should be doing this too, like nigga. No, I think. <laughs> no, no. I feel like, you know what? I feel like Urban Meyer. Yeah, I feel like is, Urban Meyer ruined Tim Tebow's career for anything because I let you play quarterback and I let you believe he was a quarterback in college. I, he I was. I agree then, with that. I then we get that. to the league, right? He was a good college quarterback, though. He he was. He was. But then you get to the league and you're like, yeah, Tim, um, I'm not gonna bring you in here to be my quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> you're my tight end. Hey, and this and this you is why got and, 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 and this is why the NFL is kind of racist. Jay, look, Tim Tebow, who we knew going into the NFL wasn't gonna be a good NFL quarterback, but they made Deshaun uh, Denar Robinson switch his position. But and wait. then they tried to make Lamar Jackson <coughs> switch his position. Wait, Lamar wait. Robinson should have switched his position. He did. He should. Did, he did. Did, did, did Lamar Robinson have a, a Heisman? No. Lamar Robinson. Yeah, he has Heisman. He doesn't have a Heisman. I thought he won the Heisman. He didn't win the Heisman. He was up for it. He had a lot of awards. That was the shoot. He didn't win the He didn't win in 2016. I'm saying his heart is somebody who has a Heisman in the championship. And I understand. I'm... Lenar Robinson, because it's like it's, it's like it's like who are you telling me that when I just came off? Of, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I feel you. and then that point, it's like, like that's what I was, but they tried to let to Lamar, like he just said. Though. Lamar won a Heisman, came out the next year after he won. Like he didn't win the Heisman year, he came out, but he won it the year before. He came out the next year, and they like, yeah, oh, so you're you gonna, gonna switch running back, you're gonna play because receiver. you run because you run so much. We run so much. They're like, hey, you know what you should do? Because that old boy, the fucking came from Ohio State. Terrell Pryor, yes, about to say, but Terrell Pryor, he was he, good. He, he was good. He had a chance to play quarterback in the NFL. He did. He got a shot. He did okay. But that's what I'm saying. They but like, then they moved the receiver. But at the same time, he was a better like receiver than he was a quarterback. He was a better receiver than yeah. he was a And that's what I'm saying. Honestly, his girlfriend killed his career. She stabbed him. Yeah. 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 His girlfriend I mean, killed his career. <laughs> he stabbed him. Well, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> Killing careers. Khalil Mack. Mm. Uh, he ain't, I mean, he killed a lot of other people's careers. <laughs> but now he's getting sent to the Chargers. I'm going, going back, back to Cowboys. Hey, that's you know a dangerous, I mean? that's going to hey, be a dangerous that's team. That's beautiful. Going back to the AFC West. That's going to be a dangerous When you come team. from the Raiders, you know, you go to the Bears, you have some, I mean, but Khalil Mack is just one of them guys that just changed the game. 31? I think he's in his early 30s. 31, I still 32. take him 31. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm saying I, mean, like, I still take him too. I'm saying I would take him for what they gave him. Like, like what they, I a second round him. pick and a six round pick next year. I heard they're looking at Fletcher Cobb. Uh, the, the Bears or Chargers? Uh, Chargers. That's what I said. Oh, it's about to be bad, bro. Mm. 
Mm. Yeah, I made my stomach hurt. Speaking Chargers of, already got a good defense. Say, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of bad, Ohio State, we're going to get into some college. Ohio State, their running back, Trayvon Henderson, Trayvon Henderson says he played through a concussion during a game last, be- last season despite having continued side effects throughout the game. Says he passed the doctor's test at the time. So then he had to come out and clarify what so, he said from that because he knew he was going to get in trouble. Yeah. Or he was going to get the team in trouble. So he came out and said, I want to clear this up. I said during today's interview, I didn't play through a concussion at any time last year. I did sustain one during the game, left, and did not return. I was clear to play by our team doctors every time I played the rest of the season. You feel like this is a lie or or the truth? I feel like it's a lie. I mean, because he's backpedaling. He's backpedaling. Like when you when you say like, "Oh, I was clear to play," you're still you're still putting the throwing the doctors under the bus either way. Right. Because if I you, mean, but also how, 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 okay. how many te- how many players do we really don't play with a concussion? I mean, you get a concussion. Today, since 20, what, 18, I would say, a lot of players don't play. Yeah. But, I ain't never seen that movie, but shout out to Will. You know, but um, I feel like since 28, back in the day, Get your ass in there. What? Okay, <laughs> yeah. you got you got a headache. I, 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 I was about to say, you got a headache. You, you got, got ass in there. Concussion? No, you got a headache. He said, Coach, I can't see. Everything is blurry. I can't. About to say, oh, but you see blurs. You, see blurs. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even. You, can, you can't even take, take cat naps. And you might fucking slip away. <laughs> what quarter is it? The first. Nigga, we're in the fourth quarter. It said, like, it said he spoke. Get his ass in there. <laughs> can you run? <laughs> Like, yes, hey. I can run. It might not be the right, the right direction, but I can run. I just think, I don't know. I just feel, <laughs> I don't even know where I was going Coach, with this. My knees are clapping together. <laughs> Help. Coach. Coach, everything is, everything is wrong. Everything, <laughs> everything is wrong, man. Coach. I don't like mm. this. Well, you know what? I'm going to let y'all know. I really been feeling y'all's energy today. Mm-hmm. They did a good job. I know y'all not tired. I seen you y'all, but you're not tired, is you? Nope. Why? Why are you tired? Because you had a raise. He had a raise energy. He had a raise energy. Yeah. You had two. No, you don't no, guess. You guess. No, <laughs> you know. Now you guess. I got a concussion. Football. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> you back, you back <laughs> I got a concussion. Well, I'm asking you. Are you tired? No. No. I know you're not. But you tired of those other injuries, ain't you? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. When they hit you with that short burst, the jittery injury followed by a crash, leaves with less energy you had before. Raise don't do that. Raise don't do that, dude. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. They got this little specially formulated thing to get you going without jittery, zero sugar, zero calories, better caffeine than a cup of coffee. Raise Energy Drinks is the number one growing energy drink on the market. They got flavors like sour gummy worm, Baja Lime, Lime. That's a good one. Uh, guava, mango. That, that's you know what to get you going all night? Strawberry, colada. Raise Angry. Yeah, that's I'm gonna send you to Rep Sports, right? R E P P Sports dot com. Hmm. Put in that same code I said earlier, T one three T H R E E. Spell out three. You can get a whole fifteen percent off the order. That's from my bias, from Tim, from Kenny, and from me. We just trying to help you out, help you get through your day. You don't need no wings. You need a raise. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you need. You ain't got a slider. That's all you need. So look, we about to get into this little who am I segment right quick, right? Who am I? I said, I'm going to give y'all one. I six. I feel like y'all deserve one of these. Y'all been good today. Do the rules. Do the rules. I'm about to say, so the rules is. <laughs> so the rules is, right? I'm going to give out a, a players. Um, I'm going to talk them up. You know, give out their little accolades. Talk about what they did over their career. Give you some numbers. Tell you what division they started in, what year they came out. Give you some of their awards they won. <laughs> and then after that, I'm gonna say, "Who am I?" And when I say, "Who am I?" What y'all do? That's when we guess. That's when y'all get the guess. You heard that? Mm-hmm. All right. So I came into the league in 1999. Mm. I retired in 2011. I am a quarterback. 2011? That's when I retired. I'm a quarterback. I started my career in the NFC East. Raise your hand, too, if you got the answer. So I can pick who at first, right? I'm a six-time Pro Bowl. My number is retired by the first team that I was drafted to. I'm in that team's Hall of Fame, and I'm on that team's 75th anniversary team. NFC East. 
On my career, I have 234 touchdown passes, 1,000, oh shit, 117 intercepts, I'll say 1,007. <laughs> yeah, I have 234 <laughs> touchdown oh, passes, geez. 117 interceptions. I have passed for 37,276 yards. My passing rating on my career was 85.6. That's great. Completion percentage was 59. I have 3,459 rushing yards and 29 rushing touchdowns. Once again, I did come into the league in 1999. I retired in 2011. And I started in the NFC East. I'm a quarterback. Who am I? Is it Dante Culpepper? No. I'm trying to think who's in the NFC East. Was I even right with the Vikings? He played for the – this player played thinking. for the Vikings. But, Tim. I don't want to say Brett Ford, but is it Brett Ford? No. Okay, I was like, yeah, I was gonna say, I don't, I'm trying to think. What's the first team? I was like, he played longer than that. No, last sure. team was the Vikings. Was, I'm trying to think. He played for the Vikings. Yeah, he did. The player I'm talking about, or it's about Brett. Huh? It's about Brett. Okay, yeah, now the player I'm talking about, he was tied on the Vikings, but he did not do good. <laughs> <laughs> he did not do good for us. It's like, did he, did he start in the NFC East too? Yes, he started in the NFC East. I know what Brett Favre. I'm just like, is that Brett Favre? Y'all know who this is. It's the crazy part. I'm trying to think. Uh, I'll read y'all this off again. I'm a six-time Pro Bowler. Came into the NFL in 1999. I retired in 2011. Well, did he play for the Bears? No. Not at all. Mm. Man, he retired on the Vikings. Yeah, the Vikings is the NFC North. The Bears in the NFC North with the Vikings. He played his whole career. Wait, 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 wait. wait. You said wait, he NFC. Wait. He started his career in the NFC East, and then he went to an NFC East team after he left the first team. He's a legend. May not be a Hall of Famer. I think we should discuss this after we figure out who it is. I can't think of it, bro. Right, right. Well, you know what? Give us another hand. Take your time. I mean, he wore number five. That's crazy how you don't know. You've been yelling about somebody the whole day. This man was doing sit-ups in his driveway talking about that's my quarterback. It's not me, man. That's not me, man. It's Tony Robo? No, it's not Tony uh, it, 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 It's not McNabb for sure. It's not him? For sure it's not him? Is it McNabb? Yes, it's not McNabb, Tim. For real? You're going to keep saying it's not him. He retired in 2011? Yeah, with the Vikings. I don't remember him being on the No, when he said five, I thought of it. he said his number was five. And I'm like, wait, that's Is no that way. Is that a Hall of Famer? Ah, uh, ooh. Ah, uh, I don't know. Uh, I, I feel mean, like, yeah. I was going to say. I was the Hall of Fame yeah. is for what you've done to the game, what you've done for the game. What did he do for the game? I mean, McNabb, okay. Do you McNabb, know? Okay. McNabb was in the time frame with Mike Vick. And Mike Vick yeah, was saying, more the game than McNabb. I was gonna say, it was, like, it was a time together. period, but it was a time period. You're either a McNabb fan or, or a Michael Vick fan I, or you're a Steve McNair fan. To be honest, I don't think I, – I feel like during that time period, he was just grateful for all of us. <laughs> if you know I mean, you. nah, it was definitely that McNair and Michael Vick rivalry for sure. Like, if you go to school, it's either uh, Eagles, McNabb, Jersey – or uh, seven, uh, Michael Vick jersey. No, it was, sure. it was definitely. No, for sure. for I know, sure. I'm like, so are you? Are you? Is Michael Vick a Hall of Famer? Yeah, that's yes. what you got to know. Yes, and I but think I so. They, so I, I think if Michael are. Vick is a Hall of Famer, McNabb had a better career than Michael Vick. Look at the stats. So if Michael Vick is a Hall of Famer, McNabb is a Hall of Famer. Let's see. We will. We won't do this. One. Pull up the Vick. Right Pull up right Vick. Now. I got a McNabb right now. Yeah. I feel like Vick did more for the game than McNabb did. McNabb you know, was an overall up. better quarterback than Vic if you if you analyze their career. Ah. If you analyze their career. Ah. So where's the stats? I feel you. I understand what you're saying about better overall quarterback. Okay. So they pretty much damn never said. When did McNabb play for the Vikings? McNabb, I don't remember that shit. Oh. He, bro, look, real shit, because I'm going to tell you what I remember, because he got traded to the Vikings. He won at number five. We had a punter that wore number five. They said the punter said he's got to donate to my charity and buy me an ice cream cone. Okay, was, okay, if Mike Vick is making a Hall of Fame, Donald Mab definitely is not. Give me Mike Vick's stats. Okay, so he passed for 3,170 uh, passes uh, with attempts uh, 5,374. 5, 5, no, 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 no. 
Go to no, 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 no. They, 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 they got more. They got them all right there. They got them prepared. I want to just hear the overall stats. That is his overall stats. Overall stats. So like, he got 37,000, more more touchdowns than this man. Yeah, and like he threw it more, and he threw it more than him, and has a better completion rating than him. All right, so let me see. Hold on. So my big head, and he has more of a touchdown percentage too as well. Sheesh. Like I said, right. if Mick, yeah, if Michael Vick is a Hall of Famer, Mick Nab is a Hall of Famer. Yes, it's bad. My thing is when you look Just at retract the your statement. <laughs> I can't retract that statement, though. Because, look. And here's, I, wait, 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 wait. wait. Here's the other thing, too. He only has seven less t- uh, rushing touchdowns than him. Hey, actually, McNabb made the big game. Michael Vick never he, made it. Michael he, Vick almost made the big game. And he ran but McNabb made look, the big game. Vick ran 3,000 3, more yards than this man. And – He's right there. That's what I'm saying. It's like you can't My play for like that. I feel you. I understand that. Now, when you look at the stats, I get that. Talk that shit, Chico. Hey, right. <laughs> <laughs> he said, Mike Vick a dog. <laughs> oh, he heard that name. He said, wait a minute. <laughs> he said, who y'all talking about? <laughs> That's the devil to him. He said, don't talk about him like that. Yeah. <laughs> look, my thing is. My he said, he don't represent us. When you, <laughs> when you think about Mike Vick, though, right? All right, so look. Also, well, in, in, the, in the favor of Vic, though, he did lose three prime years of his he career. He did lose three prime he years. He lost three prime so years of his career. my thing is, Donald but McNabb. Even if, though. Who's compared to Donald McNabb in today's game? Nobody. Donald McNabb started. Uh, well, but if somebody comes to the league, you don't want to Donald McNabb only played 24 more games than him. Oh, for real? Yes. So that means Donald McNabb was hurt then. Because if Mike Vick missed three years, that's at least 16 games right there. And that's what I'm yeah. saying. Donald McNabb, you got it. Donald McNabb should. So, I mean, close. but I'm saying, but I'm saying, it's if close. Michael Vick is a Hall of Famer, which I think Michael Vick is a Hall of Famer, because it's what you've done for the game. But what you did for the game. It's what you Mike did for Vick the game. made it okay for quarterbacks to be athletic and be able to run. I feel you, but you McNabb still got somebody. Did, McNabb, McNabb was able to run. McNabb was still able to run. Let's he, not say he, he wasn't. He didn't but he wasn't like on Vick. Michael Vick. 20. Who is Michael Vick? Wait, wait, wait. What more is the closest thing to Michael Vick? And that's what I'm – so who would you but compare even to if, even right if, though, This man still got 29 rushing touchdowns to his 36. The thing is, though, bro, I don't – I mean, that's look, not – that's it. That's, I mean, I, I feel like if you pit Vick on the Eagles, and I'm talking about in the prime. He was in the Eagles. Like, no, 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 I'm saying if you pit and, yeah, and, yeah, yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. and he took my uh, McNabb's position. McNabb's spot. But I'm saying if you I give – if you give Vick T.O., at the time when Vic was like a human joystick, almost, you know what I'm saying? Chico. That's what I, that's what I like. Real talk. Look, I feel it, like you're arguing prime against prime. No, no, but it's I feel not, like I, not, I, I think if it's Vic about was what a better you quarterback for the game. It is, but I feel like there's no. But there, look at this. I'm trying. You to cannot. Know. No, no. I'm on your side with McNabb's look, a Hall of Fame. When you look at them numbers, you know how you can't. This is look, no. They can't see this, but like, look at that bar compared to his bar. That green compared to that red is crazy. I get that. I, I, I see. <laughs> it's I crazy. See. And, 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 and the thing is, and, and thing is he, he was, and the thing is like, I want it because I'm more t- t- he he prefer Victor McNabb. I prefer Victor McNabb. But we're not going to sit there and play. He is. He's I'll lick your face all day. Please, please. He threw 100 more touchdowns, bro. 101 of more touchdowns. And that's the thing, though. It's like, we got we got to give him his flower. That's one of the things. Like, you got to get him his flower. I'm going to give me it. Look. I'm a, I always give me that. I give me that. But you but were trying to say he wasn't a Hall of Famer at one point. I, honestly, just, now, just, just a second ago. I didn't even know he retired in 2011. I didn't know he played for the Vikings. I did not know he played for the Vikings. I was just like, who is that? Okay. I was stuck. I didn't know who that was. Who would you take? Mike Vick or Dominic Nett? With me, I'm going to take Mike Vick. But with these stats, it's like, ah. Who you going to take? It just depends on who I got. Who you gonna take? It just depends on who I got, bro. Who you gonna take? I love McNabb, bro. So, I was you, on McNabb's side. So you gonna take McNabb? Uh, no, I was on his side when he was younger. I didn't see Eagles Vic at that time. <laughs> who are you going to take? <laughs> right? His, 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 growing up, growing up, watching the play, I was gonna take Mike Vick because it's like, but, but I'm saying though. But with these stats right here, it's well, like, see, right. the only reason I didn't like Vic look. like that, the only reason I didn't like, I mean, I love Vic, but don't, because David was such a big Vic fan. <laughs> 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 how do we get, how do we get here though, right? So before we look at these stats, right? We but, were all saying Vic. But before we look at these stats, we would all say Vic. Yeah. All right. So then to bring it all back full circle, I'm going to end it right here too. To bring it all back full circle, right? Kirk Cousins thing? No, not even Kirk Cousins. No, I didn't say Vic. Oh, I like, said Nick oh, Nick had way better numbers than Vic. Right, That's, so I knew he brought us here. I knew he brought us here. But before we looked at these numbers. I didn't know they were that did, bad. What they did for the game. Yeah, I didn't know they were that bad. You would take Vic. Yeah, I mean, uh, wait, I wait, guess wait. I, I would probably have took Vic. I'm just saying, but I, I, I like. How about this? They got a the best season stats. Want to go over? No, 
Do you want to do that? <laughs> the best season, you want to compare the best season? They both was in their prime at that time, too. And look, I'm about to put it all in conclusion right here. Like 10-6. I'm going to be on your side right here, right? Yeah. So, look, from what we heard and what we seen, we would all take Vic, right? Mm-hmm. And that comes back to your Tom Brady and your um, hey, man, Mandy. Mandy, right? Mm-hmm. Because we all see what Tom Brady do. And we didn't give Peyton Manning, you know, like, because he ain't really. Well, I gave Peyton. I'm Peyton. We all, we all gave Peyton. I mean, it's really not something you can compare, I guess you could say. But yeah. at the same time, it's just from the surface looking in, you always going to take what you see the most the of. Letters, the more who, who did the most. Who had the most better. impact on the game. Right. Tom Brady got what? Seven rings. Mike Vick was the one that made it okay for quarterbacks to be able to run, be able to be athletic, and be able to be themselves. And I saw, you know, I feel like I'm by sharing right there. Um, y'all want to find us? Check us out on YouTube. Bad guys spoken. You want to see us on Twitch? You go to uh, what? T13 Media. Twitch.tv slash T13. Twitch.tv slash T13 Media. Spell out three. You want to see it? You know, like I said, I'm by on YouTube. We got a little playlist. You go over there, you see I'm by You're going to see me holding the ball. You can find me on that show. in the Vikings jersey. I'm trying hard to picture that. Crazy. This, this, you know, um, this one in was like, look, he's fat. Pull it up. Pull it. I, I want to see. It. I know. I think I know you're talking about. I, 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 I can't that. picture McNabb on the Vikings. <laughs> hey, that is a curse word in this house. Stay on by, Tony. 